go, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Be safe, drive safe. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. The world I signed the lease for and the world I want to open it, open up the restaurant doesn't exist. You know, it's a whole different world, so it's a whole different business model. And I think for the first about 30 days of the quarantine, the business model changed every day. The coronavirus pandemic has affected small businesses all across the state of New York. Some have even had to close. However, I got to speak to one Long Island restaurant owner who opened up his new establishment two days before the quarantine took into effect. And now to keep his business afloat, he's had to revamp, restart, and rejuvenate his whole business layout. Hi, I'm Rustin Lundstrom, owner of The Coach Meeting House. We opened two days before the shutdown. It was a scary time for us as a business. We didn't know how we'd be able to stay open. We were able to pivot and go to to-go food and also open up a contactless uh, drive through frozen drink bar, first of its kind. You would have told me three months ago that on Cinco de Mayo, I'd be batching out a thousand different types of, a thousand margaritas of five different flavors and running a drive through uh, frozen margarita bar. I would have told you you were crazy and selling tacos and all the stuff that's not even on our menu or original menu. So it's kind of a crazy uh, pivot and evolve, but I guess that's part of being an entrepreneur and be able to adapt with the times. So you pull into the coach meeting house right here, follow these lines. To the right, if you're going for just quick service food that's pre-prepared at Slushies, if you order food ahead and just food, you go to the left. We have two separate lines for people. We follow them on social media. We're excited about the restaurant opening and the virus hit. And we've just watched him pivot the business and now it's like an amazing drive through And we've got the drive through movie coming up and like everybody kind of follows it from every day. They see what's going on. And now we've got Slushies and we got dressed up and it's just like great to see really cool to be a part of something that people generally get happiness from. I feel like we are, you know, listen, we're serving drinks, we're not doing God's work, we're just giving drinks, but people are providing happiness, which is a very good feeling. Never be afraid to kind of do stuff that might be a little out of the box. At this time, you gotta do stuff that's out of the box because the box doesn't exist. There is no box, there is no sit-down restaurant, there is no deli service the way it used to be. You have to accept that the world changed and you gotta change with it.